Now I'll incorporate the Southwest Willow Flycatcher data into the analysis. So I've got QGIS Desktop open, and I'll add the Southwest Willow Flycatcher data. So I'm going to click the Add Vector Data menu, browse to my Lab 4 data folder, and select the Sierra Willow Flycatcher. So I'm going to style this. I'm going to give the Sierra Willow Flycatcher data a red fill and outline. So I'll click the simple fill. For the colors, choose red. And for the border, I'll choose the same red. And click OK. Now I'll explore my data a little bit. Zoom into this section down here. And you can see that there are areas where there's overlap between the southwest willow flycatcher habitat and the spotted owl habitat. Since these are both sensitive species, these areas of overlap will be important areas to protect. I can certainly conduct a spatial query to select the southwest willow flycatcher polygons that overlap the spotted owl polygons. However, here I'm going to show you the value of using the intersect tool to identify these overlapping areas. Let me go to the vector menu, to geoprocessing tools, and choose intersect. The input vector layer is going to be the Sierra spotted owl, and the intersect layer is going to be the southwest willow flycatcher. I'll click browse to name the output shapefile, and I'm going to call this overlap areas. I'll click OK and close. Let me style these overlap areas as bright yellow so they stand out a little better. Click OK. I'm going to zoom in a little bit tighter to one of these overlap areas. You can see this yellow area is the area of overlap between these two habitat types. In the next task, I'll use the Union and Dissolve tools to enhance this analysis.